Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato, and this is Little Big Workshop. It's the littlest game with the biggest heart. And in the last episode, well, we didn't really stick the landing, did we? Um, I'll say, I mean, financially, things have never really been worse. Uh, I mean, they could be worse. I mean, th they could be. They certainly could be. Uh, we failed to meet our Swikea order, but that's okay, because I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic about the future. Ignore the chap that is currently with passed out uh, on the floor and ignore the person with pink hair who just followed him down. Uh, yes, we're not going to worry about that because we are all about positive energies. Positive energies in, uh, in, in, in the Orby factory. That's right. Uh, so, what we're going to do in order to get ourselves out of this little pickle. We're going to finish manufacturing a bunch of tables. The market is due to refresh in 12 hours and the price of tables maybe will increase. If it doesn't, no big deal. we got two tables waiting to be uh, delivered and we've got the parts for uh, like six, eight more. Yeah, eight more. Uh, we should have a couple of tables ready to manufacture. Uh, what I want to do, however, is I want to finish making this order of tables and then I immediately want to head on to make uh, small drawers. Uh, even though the price of small drawers is decreasing, it's still a good thing to do, right? We still want to absolutely make sure uh, that that is what's happening. I want to try and get a bunch more billboarding set up so that we end up distributing a bunch of uh, jobs across where they need to be distributed. I also want to try and get a little bit more specialized machinery. Also, let's briefly talk about what I did in the last episode, which is a pretty bad thing to do. Uh, I got rid of the refrigerator. Now, as you can see in the top of the screen right there, uh, there are two cups of coffee in in, uh, in in this here in this here room, and I believe that that means that we have capacity to recharge the batteries of two people, which ain't the greatest because we've got four we got four people constantly looking to get uh, to get coffee and get recharged. So uh, the recharge rate, I believe, determines how, yeah, as you can see, look at that. They're each going to help themselves to a cup of coffee, which means these people are going to be able to recharge themselves, but these two people are, are stuck and are, in fact, going to have to get there get their 40 winks by uh, by snoozing on the floor. But you know what? That's not my problem. That's theirs. I'm just concerned with turning a profit and keeping all of these people in employment. Anyway, Hopefully the breaks won't take too long. I want to get the last of the table manufactured, and then I immediately want to progress on to a uh, small drawer production. So let's get that all done as swiftly as possible. Fantastic. Let's go and have a look. Do I want to wait until the market readjusts, or do I just want to send these tables out into the world right now? I think I just want to send them right into it, right out into the world. It should hopefully get us to the next level as well, so we can get some more uh, R&D points and look at... I don't know, investing the R&D points in something that is actually going to be uh, going to be productive. Uh, no market offer, sell the scraps, or wait for an offer to appear on the market. This is for chairs, I believe. We only have one chair. Why don't we just sell for scrap? No, you know what? Let's not do that. I mean, we've already manufactured a chair. It, it was a blooming difficult operation to, uh, to accomplish. So I'm going to hold on to that chair for dear life. You got that right. You got that right. Anyway, uh, thinking further ahead, we're on to small drawers now. That's grand. The market is going to update in just a second, so we can think more thoroughly about uh, about our small drawer manufacturing operation. All right, grand. We, uh, we made a bunch of money, and we are not super negative now. Also, that is another table that was just manufactured. Happy, happy days. Very, very happy indeed. In fact, I'm so happy that I might immediately just send that table off. Yeah, let's get that table sent off. Yes, please. Okay, grand. Now, let's work on drawers. Now, drawers are assembled in a very, very funky way. I say in a funky way. They're not actually assembled in a very funky way at all. The individual drawers are made before you make the big set of drawers, which is fine. It just means that we need to prioritize making the wood boards, the wood planks, and the handles. And that way, we can start manufacturing the small drawers first, and then we can put together the big drawer. That makes sense, right? So that means we want to send table legs to the back of the queue, and I think... What is the... What is the bit of wood that we use to... What is the bit of wood that we we use in order to make, uh, in order to make these here tables? I don't actually... I don't actually know what it is. I don't know the type of... I don't know the type of wood. 
I suppose it doesn't actually... Well, I suppose it does actually matter. Um, because I don't want to... I don't want to make any more tables. I don't want to make any more tables at all. Also, that's us just hit level 4. That is great news. Very, very good news indeed. Okay, we need to make 4x4... 4 4x4... 4, uh, 4, by 4 uh, four by four boards, and then we also need to make some wooden planks and some handles. Okay, what is that? The market has just updated. Bad news, the drawers are expiring. The price did increase just a little bit, but it means that we need to get a shake on with getting these drawers uh, put together. So let's try and do that as swiftly as possible. Handles, that needs to go to the top of the queue. Uh, what is the process that we need to go through in order to make handles? Can I assign handles right over here? That's right, let's, ass let's assign that right now. Handles, go to the top of the queue. For sure, okay? Grand, and... Is that it? 8x8 eight eight wood. I'm gonna send that to the bottom. Uh, we've got one more leg to make. That's fine. Wood board. We need wood planks in order to make that, which means that I need to send this up the queue in order to make the wood planks, in order to make the wood boards. And I want to try and sort of distribute the specialized jobs to the... Uh, to the bandsaw if at all possible but anyway this is all with a means to creating the small the small the small drawer boxes first and then making the small drawer does that make sense i think it does that's the plan anyway who honestly knows why are we not able to do this because i want to make i need to make that first that needs to be at the top of the queue yep send that to the bottom there okay fantastic so let's make some wooden rods first and then we can head to work on the handles just after that. Fantastic. Let's go. And now handles. Great. Fantastic stuff. We should have all of the components needed for at least one drawer in a little bit. Look at that. It's coming. It's coming together. Mark my words. Okay. Have I got any more tables to sell? No, I indeed do not. I at least want to make one drawer. We're 42% of the way there. I am really, really worried about this time limit, which I seem to have been set. Let's look at research in just a second. Let's not worry about that for now. 4x4 uh, four by four, four by four board. I mean, are we set up to make that? We are actually set up to make that. Okay, I don't want to make... I don't want to make... I don't want to make that. I want to make this stuff. This stuff is important for the drawers. This stuff is important for... This stuff is important for the tables. I'm pretty sure this stuff is important for the drawers as well. But this stuff is important for the individual small drawers. So we need to get that set up as swiftly as possible. Uh, what I could do, actually, is I could split that up. Yep, split that up and instead transfer that to the bandsaw. No, I can't. That's a complete lie. Cannot make that happen at all. Right, that was an ambition. I failed. There's nothing in the queue for for that, though. Can I send anything to the bandsaw here? No, I cannot send anything to the bandsaw? Is that just not a possibility? Am I not doing any of the... Am I not doing any cutting? Is that, uh, is that the thing? We're just not doing any straight cuts? All right, whatever. Anyway, great. Let's make some drawers. Let's make some drawers. Yes, please. Lots and lots and lots of, uh, of small drawers, and then they can be turned into bigger drawers in a little bit. Beautiful. We're going to be cutting it real tight, and as I say, the drawers are expiring, so I'm not super happy that I've got all of the resources that I need to make drawers, and, uh, and drawers are going to expire. And I'm also not super thrilled that we're going to have to conduct repairs at such a critical time. However, it's okay. That's A-OK. -okay. Seven drawers to make, and then we've got five small drawers to make. That's cool. Maybe I should stick to making tables in the future. It seems to be a much more stable resource. Certainly doesn't look like uh, tables expire at anywhere near the rate that small drawers do. Also, the speed at which my gnomes are uh, are decaying is is worrying, honestly. Very, very worrying. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Am I going to be able to make any drawers before before this expires? I certainly hope so. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to split the drawers into two. Move that up there. So let's make three drawers as soon as we possibly can. There we go. Let's try and make three sets of small drawers. 
and get that away before the latest opportunity. Great, we should have more than enough, more than enough drawers in order to make that happen. And it looks like we should be able to make one final drawer. Grand, four bits, perfect. And then let's go back to making small drawers and let's set three to be delivered. Okay, so worst case scenario, we're still cash positive. Uh, so that's good. That's very, very good. I'm pretty happy with that. We can we can live with that even if we don't make a single other drawer in the history of this factory. I can still I can still retire to my chamber happy. And certainly, as soon as the finances reveal themselves, oh my goodness, that is why we are happy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the break room and I'm gonna buy back that refrigeration station. That I uh, that I also hastily got rid of in order to raise my uh, in order to raise my bank balance. Yeah, that was a bit a bit of a bad idea, really. Anyway, let's split that further. And after after this box is done, after this uh, small drawer box is done, then we will make an individual small drawer, and we should be totally fine. So we're making, we're making these drawers on an individualized basis now, which again is just a little bit safer. It means that we should be able to, you know, maximize our, uh, maximize our cash and make sure that it all works out. So our, our coffee cups in the, uh, in the break room should recharge much, much faster now. Thanks to the, uh, thanks to the refrigerator. 18 cups of coffee per day is what we, what we can manage. I don't know the requirements for everyone in uh in this factory but i'm sure i'm sure we can we can manage to manage to make sure that everyone gets coffee i could also hire some more people but i'm not really interested in making that happen what's going on what is going on here we should have all of the required components to make uh to make a set of drawers at least one more set of drawers oh beautiful we've got it we've got it let's get it shipped get it shipped asap please yes thank goodness Okay, so that's going to be another 1,400 uh, 400 bucks in the bank. What is remaining on the billboard? Not much, honestly. Not much at all. Okay, we need to prioritize... We need to prioritize making wood boards over legs. Legs aren't super important at this moment in time. Alright, this is great. This is fantastic. Uh, so, the the drawers are expiring, that's totally fine. We don't have any challenges at this moment in time, which is A-OK. -okay. The round table is going to expire as well. I think we probably just want to think about uh, setting up some more table production. I want to try and clear my backlog of production first. That seems like uh, a very, very good idea. So that I don't have to worry about too many too many things in the future. We just need to finish off a few more bits and bobs. You know, we've got 15 hours to make one final set of drawers. Are we going to be able to do it? I don't actually know. I would be very, very happy if we were able to do it. Oh my goodness, we did it. This is fantastic. Let's get it away. Beautiful. Man, oh man, oh man. You guys worked absolutely fantastically here. I, uh, this is, this is fantastic. Okay, so certainly trying to buff the break room does indeed seem to make a big old difference. Yeah, so recovery capacity, recovery generation. That's cool. Those are two concepts that we need to, we need to try and focus on. That is very, very important. All right, let's finish off all of the requirements needed for a table. A few tables, actually. I think this was the original uh, Swikea order. Uh, but once we've got that done, then we can worry about planning uh, a brand new... A brand new suite of products, which are almost certainly going to be tables. Right, glorious. Just one more. One final table. Collect all of the legs. Stick them on the bench. We don't have the table. We don't have the table legs. Unbelievable. Okay. That's all right. Let's wait until the market updates. In fact, it'll probably be a pretty darn good time to uh, think about some new products. There might be a few new products that interest us on here. I mean, for example, the large shelf. The large shelf is uh, is picking up in price. I mean, it was a heck of a lot more than it used to be, but uh, that's okay. I'm sure we can worry about that later. How many more table legs do we have to chop? One more. One more table leg to chop. That's grand. All right, let's get that table manufactured and then let's get it all shipped off. And now let's analyze the market. 
So, we've got some recommended items that we could... That we could sell. Do I want to make... Do I want to make a large shelf? I think I want to make the large shelf. I mean, I have made the shovel in the past. Also... <gasps> what is this? 15 units? 15 units for Swikea? Can I pull it off this time? I mean, I get a, a big reward. I get some reputation. I've got a long deadline. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if we can make this happen. Okay, we are ready for production. What is the price of, of all of the materials? Not, not much, you know. Not much at all. Okay, let's get... Let's get you and you done there. Let's get... Yes, that there. That's the billboard. Fantastic. Okay, that's great. So we're going to do all of the cutting on the bandsaw. Perfect. And then we're going to do all of the rest of the manufacturing process at the uh, at the woodworking benches. Cool. And that's at the assembly station. Great. It's going to be a tough gig. It's going to be a tough gig because it requires so much stuff to, to be built. But it will be totally worth it. Okay. Let's ship off these tables. Oh my goodness, the price increase on tables? Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. I will absolutely take that. Let's get that all shipped away. And let's get all of the resources required for the Swikea products unloaded as quickly as possible, please. Alright. This is looking pretty darn good. I'm kind of hopeful that we can make all of this happen. I, I think I'm going to hire one more person. I'm going to hire an operator. Yeah, I'm going to hire an operator. The reason that I want to hire an operator is because I think we're almost... We're almost at 100% sort of productivity. Almost everything is working uh, about as regularly as I would like it to be. But not quite yet. Also, I don't like that little red bar that is appearing. Makes me think that maybe we're not going to hit the capacity that we need to. Let's get these tables away and see if we can afford anything else of substance. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's good. Look at all of this productivity that's happening. Oh, this is great. This is great. As long as we can keep this up, we're going to be absolutely fine. Yep, yeah, that's real good. Uh, do we want to buff the break room again? Maybe. Maybe we want to see if we can try and get a video game. Or something like that. That would be, that'd be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Pretty nifty. Yeah, we'll just stick a stick a video game in the corner. One thousand two hundred bucks. Sure, let's get that place down. Grand. All right, I like a hundred percent efficiency. This is very very good, and we should have yeah recovery generation. That's what it's all about. In fact, you know what? Maybe I want to get I want to get another TV. I want to get I want to get a TV. The first TV that I've gotten, but it should just help. It should just help recharge rates even further. All right. Grand. Look at this. These guys are recovering energy like there's no tomorrow. Oh, I love it. 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 I did spend a lot of money on it, but that's okay. It looks like we're pulling ahead of where we're expected to be at this time in the order. That's fantastic. I need to get some repairs on the go. Yep. Let's get everything repaired. That will delay things slightly. But that's not too much of a problem. And it looks like we've now started making a dent on all of the wooden planks that need to be manufactured. Right. Grand. Uh, we need to get some wooden boards up and running. Uh, I think that that should be doable if we are to... Yep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split that in half. And I'm going to put that above there. So that should mean, theoretically, that after we've finished making some legs, after we finish making these legs in particular, we should start to process the wooden boards. And once we start to process the wooden boards, that should mean that we're able to make at least a couple of tables, which once again means that we are utilizing the assembly station much more efficiently. It means that rather than making all of the legs and then all of the, the, the tabletops, we are indeed sort of staggering that production. So as soon as we got a couple of a couple of tabletops, we should be able to make a bunch of a bunch of tables. There we go. It's happening. It's happening. 
Oh, this is delightful. This is actually working. We're recovering. We're bouncing back. Right. Right, well, I'm inclined just to keep this in, uh, in three times speed at the moment. I don't think that we need to do any other production of any other resources until uh, we get this Swikea order finished. I do want to help Steve achieve his uh, achieve his dream of capitalizing the market, taking over taking over the world of tat and selling a bunch of plastic buckets, which is the only thing that he really is that bothered about selling apparently. But that's all right. We'll worry about that in just a second. So we are now six tables out of 15 done. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's great. And I think we've repaired just about every bit of uh, of equipment along the way. Which I must say is pretty darn good going. Anyway, uh, if we have a little look in on the leg manufacturing process, you can see that everything seems to be smoothing, smoothing ahead. Uh, paving, paving the way ahead, paving the way ahead for smooth success. That doesn't really make sense, but if you sort of twist the words a little bit, you can sort of see where I'm coming from. Everything looks pretty darn smooth. Uh, we've got some more people leveling up. In fact, Oliver Jones, wow! I mean, you can now specialize twice. I mean, if only that was a skill that I possessed. Speaking of specializations, I do actually want to get specializations, but unfortunately, or should I say fortunately, because it's kind of cool actually, uh, we need to unlock the bronze milestone set, uh, or the, the, bronze, the bronze level tech tree. Uh, if you'd like, and we do that by completing the bronze level milestones. So that's what we're going to shoot for. We're going to try and uh, aim to complete all of these milestones, deliver more than 100 products, complete at least three different client challenges, and reach factory level 5, all of which we might actually complete with this current mission right here. Uh, also, our finances have just strayed into the negative. I don't really think that I'm that bothered, to be honest. I'm probably not going to, uh, going to see my finances decrease past, uh, past negative 5,000. I certainly would hope not anyway. You know what I could get? You know what I could totally get? I could just stick in a door right here. I mean, my credits are ridiculously low and that is not a possibility. But imagine the time saving by just, like, walking through this wall right here. Also, the mood in this room is very, very bad. I need to improve it dramatically. Yes, that, that will need to happen. That will need to happen at some point. Uh, okay, cancel the, the, construct, the construction of the doorway. Also, how am I doing in, in the, big old, the big old chart? I mean, not bad. My net worth is 61,000. That is an unjustified, an unjustified net worth if ever I saw one. That is absolutely dreadful. Uh, a total, total, total mischaracterization of where I am financially. Okay, uh, the Dalla Horse, Crazy Steve Enterprises. It is a, it's, I think it's plastic, isn't it? I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure this is a plastic. It's not plastic, but we need to get a painting station, and that will require us getting a brand new station. I don't, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm interested, Steve. Not at this moment in time. Not when I can barely pay my, pay my bills. Let's get a repair planned on that station. However, the good news is that everything is looking remarkably okay with the Swikea order, which is great. It's looking so okay that I'm maybe feeling a little bit like I could take on an open market order. I have a funny feeling that if I was to do that, that would, uh, that would probably make me feel not so great about the Swikea order. Ah, I see someone just leveled up. That's right, Jessica. Jessica Garcia, you have now reached level 2 specialization. Whatever the heck that means. I'm sure it will mean something in the future. Okay. We're very, very close to being done, actually. We've got barely any any legs to, to make. In fact, we're, we're done with legs. Now we just need to make five, five wooden boards, and we're sorted, actually. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Let's get all that stuff hauled over to the to the assembly station, and then let's get it all sorted. Absolutely easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and I'm going to be seeing 4,000 gnome coins in my bank account very, very shortly indeed. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I love it when a good plan comes together. Or should I say, I love it when a plan comes together. I'm not really sure that I had a very good plan, or even a unique plan. It was a plan, that's for sure. And it's, it's definitely come together. I can, I can categorically say that, though. Okay, let's get a repair planned over at that station as well. 
my oh my, I hope that I can get a preventative maintenance uh, upgrade. Come on. You need to bring the tabletop over here. Someone needs to get the legs. Oh, fantastic. Great. Get the stuff delivered. And let's immediately go into the open market and see what we can do. Do I want to make some tables? I do want to make some tables, actually. Tables are... Tables are what's hot at the moment. Tables are real hot. You know what? Let's just make the exact same tables. Let's just make it again. Uh, we're lacking the cash to do anything at the moment. Okay. Let's wait until all of the IKEA tables have been appropriately disposed of. Not IKEA. Swikea. Completely different. And is in no way similar. Aha! Great. Loads and loads of experience. That all worked fantastically. And it looks like we're just one milestone achievement away from completing the bronze milestone, which is grand. Uh, let's make a bunch of tables. 15 tables? Sure. Let's get 15 brand new tables up and running. Let's get all of the materials unloaded and ready to go. All right, the one thing that does take a heck of a long time to make is these table legs. Is there any way that I can sort of speed that process up? I'm not really sure that there is. I mean, what is the exact process required for table leg making? It's a jigsaw cut. Can you do jigsaw cuts? You can actually do jigsaw cuts. I mean, if I was to split that in half and then reassign that to there, the jigsaw cuts are actually way faster on this, on this machine. Yeah. All right, so let me let me make a bunch of wooden rods first. And then let me make a bunch of table legs. All right, that's really cool, actually. I like that a lot. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remodel very, very slightly. I'm going to stick a door right in there where I said I would. Let's get it ordered. And let's get it stuck in. There we go. Look at that. That in itself is a is a is a straight up production efficiency increase. Okay. So once we're finished, once we're finished making these wooden rods, we'll start making legs and we should be able to make legs with real speed, I hope. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, this is where this is where we need to start manufacturing legs. In fact, I would say that this bandsaw is so darn good that we should think about getting a second one almost as swiftly as we possibly can. Yeah. For sure. Okay, we've dipped negative again, but I mean we do that every other every other day really at this rate, so that's fine. We're almost through with the legs that are still on the billboard. That's fine. Legs on the bandsaw still need to be done. Uh, but that's fine. I guess we can just sort of batch produce all of the legs, and then we can batch produce all of the countertops. I, I don't think that that makes a, a, a difference. Okay, 10% efficiency. How did this happen? Fire the manager. Whoever's in charge needs to be needs to be stripped of all responsibilities. That should never happen. When we hit the, the lowest productivity on the woodworking stations... I mean, that is a, a true disaster. It takes way longer to repair as well. It's fine, though. It's fine. It's not a problem. Somebody else leveled up. That's cool. How's the market looking for tables? Uh, still good. Still good. It's not as good as it was last month, but that's okay. No challenges left. A rubber duck? I'm interested in rubber ducks. I mean, I am interested in, in as much of the sense that, I mean... They're they're going to be an interesting an interesting thing to 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 manufacture. I would like to do it. Okay. We need to make wooden planks. The wooden planks need to be therefore turned into wooden boards on the two tabletops. That's great. And now the wooden boards are going to be able to be made into tables. All right. What do you know? We're going to be very, very profitable in a very, very short period of time. I need to get myself another bandsaw. How much does it cost for another bandsaw? Mm. A bandsaw is five grand. That is five, five grand. That is, that is mega, mega money. Also, I think I need to try and get some more decorations just in this room. If I was to get more decorations in this room... Unbelievably, I think that this would 
I think that this will lead to the degradation of my uh, little gnome's happiness a heck of a lot slower. So the more Venus flytraps or whatever cactus that I can get, uh, the better everything will sort of work. Okay, you know what? Let's um, let's deliver. Let's get this stuff all delivered. No reason to hold on to it until the very the very last moment. There we go. Get it all loaded up, and then I'm going to buy two more Venus flytraps. And that should mean that magically this room should become a positive mood room. That's right. Noise is negative, comfort is positive, and we have a mood of two. I mean, it will of course change once we get another bandsaw, which I'm still intending to do. But that's a problem for another day. And we're, we're profitable at the moment, and that's all that really matters. That's all I care about. Okay, I think maybe we've made enough tables. I think I want to set myself a, a challenge above and beyond uh, the, the challenge that, uh, that making tables offers me, which is, which is none at all. Although, in saying that, there is definitely, there's definitely a lot that I can still improve on. There's still a lot of bits and bobs that I can improvise. Uh, improvise? What am I talking about? Optimize? That's what I'm talking about. Milestone completed. Way to go. You've done it. Your management have brought your factory to a new level. Check out the R&D section for these new goodies. Fantastic. Don't mind me. I absolutely will. Uh, great. Access to medium category items. That's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. What can I get? I don't want any plots. I don't need that. Wood production... Upgrade operators to wood specialists. I mean, that would be great because almost all of our manufacturing is wood-related. Metal production, metal machines, basic metal machines, plastic metal machines, or plastic machines. Increase the amount of workers that I can hire. Market prediction. Get a heads up on market change through advanced and accurate prediction systems. I mean, that seems great. Expert hustler. Take a class on how to give you sales pitch. Granting a larger reward for client contracts. Cool. Invest in anti-slip boots for all your workers, re reducing the risk of them falling over. Uh, do they fall over regularly? Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's, it's the banker. Oh, it's not the banker. It is, in fact, uh, Count Dracula. I'm, I am Blah, one of the founders of Nemesis Incorporated. I see you have grown from invisible to hardly noticeable. Don't grow much more now, or things may not work out so well for you in your business. All right, cool. Have you got a Have you got a little mission for me? Also, have I got some new decorations that I can uh, that I can stick around? Indeed, indeed, I do. All right, cool. Um, that's great. That's really, really great. Okay, we got five grand in the in the bank at the moment. That's cool. Uh, let's look at R and D. Let's try and get market prediction. Sure, preview two mar two market cycles ahead of time. I mean, if I get that right now. I can just see. Okay, so tables are looking good. Shovels shovels are, are a false investment. Large shelf. What is this? Manipulation by Nemesis Inc. Price and demand will gradually drop over time. I mean, barely. His, this is, I mean, he's not a very effective bad guy if that's the case. Uh, whack a pin, whack a pin is going to go down. I mean, we only want to buy stuff that is going to increase in price. A rubber duck. I think, I think I try and get a rubber duck set up. I think we try and do it because it gives us an excuse to actually buy some new equipment. So, uh, let's get some plastic pellets. Let's just try and make it as cheap as we possibly can. And let's buy the required workstation. What is it that we need? We need an injection press. It's going to cost two grand. That's terrifying. A terrifyingly large investment that is. Enter planning mode. Let's link that to there. Painting station. Let's get a painting station. 1,600 bucks. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I really... I mean, this whole... This whole how to work finances thing. Not really sure I understand how it, how it, how it works. Okay, let's ditch that zone. So now having spent almost all of the money that I... Uh... Oh, actually, hold on. I'll just, you know, I'll plan the product out. Whatever. Uh, how many how many products can I make? What's the what's going to happen to the demand? Demand is going to go down, so we want to be making less than forty nine, but we want to be making enough to satisfy demand at this point to get the maximum price. In fact, we, we'll be able to see over time in the next cycle what the cycle after is. Anyway, we're going to be making some ducks. Let's try and make as many as we possibly can, and we're going to try and manipulate the market. It's all going to work fantastically. Let's try and make thirty. How much is that going to set me back? Barely anything. Let's try and make 40. I think 40 might be what we're after. Okay. 
Currently linked to paint station, 100% efficiency, 100% efficiency for that. All right, let's, let's see it. Let's see it happen. This is our plastic production. This is great. Also, let's have a little look at the mood in this room. It's minus 13. That's great. That's an excuse to get to get a flower, a flower station. Sure. Can I rotate this? Is that a possibility? There we go. Let's get it up against the wall. I'm not sure that I like that flower box there, but it's going to happen. All right. Now this room is going to be ridiculously positive, ridiculously mood positive. You're going to want to spend your time on the factory floor as opposed to taking out a break. All right, all of the plastic pellets have been acquired. That's grand. Let's get pressing them. And in fact, you know what? Maybe this is a good opportunity to try and get a plastic specialist. Using machines can be much more efficient than working by hand. Uh, in fact, no, we can't get a plastic specialist quite yet. In fact, no, we can get a plastic specialist. Let's get a plastic specialist. All right, the plastic specialist was not... In my mind, going to be the first specialist that we actually got. Uh, I didn't think that that was going to be a thing, but now it is a thing. So therefore, hey ho. All right, we need a thousand bucks in order to make a plastic specialist. Unfreaking believable. Right. Any other challenges that we can that we can take on right now? I tell you what, a Dalla horse. That might not actually be the craziest thing in the world to to think about. It is a bit complicated, though, isn't it? Right. Okay, the bandsaw only gives 50% on straight cuts. Is there anything better? Maybe like a circular saw or something? I don't actually know. That was just a, a, a shot in the dark, really. Okay. Uh, yep, that can go there. Paint, that can go there. Cool. Dalla horse, 15. It's going to cost us 36 bucks in materials. That is that is ridiculously cheap. I'll take that right now. Let's get that all prioritized. Crazy Steve, I have not done I've not done a lot of stuff for you, so now this is a great opportunity. I unlocked a foam injection machine, which is very very cool. Very very cool indeed. What is Yeah, it's the it is the circle saw. I was totally right. I totally I'm a handyman. I know what's going on. So the circular saw, or the circle saw is 100% uh, efficient for straight cuts. That's cool. All right. That's great to know. It's not super uh, important, but that's okay. Can I just have a little look at the price of rubber duckies? Okay. We know when we want to capitalize on rubber duckies. They're going to peak in price. Not peaking in demand, but they're going to peak in price right over here. So let's just try and make sure that we sell all of the rubber duckies at, uh, at that point. I want to get the Dalla horse done first because, I mean... The Dalla horse is a contract job, and therefore it's much more important that we get it done. Of course. Like there is any question about that. I mean, we're absolutely storming through it anyway. Stormin' Norman, that's me. My name is Norman, and I am Stormin'. We're, uh, we're gonna accomplish this. We're gonna hit, uh, negative cash flow again. Or negative bank balance, I suppose. It's not actually negative cash flow. Uh, but again, that's not gonna slow me down. We're gonna continue to make a bunch of ducks during this period of time. We're just not gonna paint them. So we got a bunch of unpainted ducks which are ready to be painted at the next opportunity. When the next market cycle comes around, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be selling off a whole bunch of stuff. Alrighty then, let's get that delivered, and let's go back to painting a bunch of ducks. And you know what? Now that we've got a whole bunch of ducks being painted, how many how many ducks do we have? We've got eleven unpainted ducks. It means. It means that maybe we should think about just getting... It maybe means that we should think about bringing on another job. Maybe we just start making some tables. Sure. Make some tables. I mean, it's already all queued up anyway. Uh, how much would it cost for me to get a non-band saw? A circular saw? How much would it cost for that? Circle saw? 3,000? 3,400? I don't think that... I don't think that I'm going to net that much from Steve, Crazy Steve, whatever his name is. Yeah. I mean, we could sell all of these rubber duckies right now, but that still wouldn't net the profit that I'm after. So you know what? Let's let's take on the table contract. Take on the table contract. We'll still keep inefficiently cutting with our bandsaw, but that's okay. Yeah, we want to be cutting that on the bandsaw as well. Cool. All right, 
let's uh let's let's execute that 20 tables i think i mean we are going to make a lot of money but it's going to cost a lot of money cool let's do it thing about ducks is that they're much easier to make but you make a lot less money as well i mean i'm okay with that not a big deal at all as long as as long as things are working i'm not too bothered one of your workers are stuck. What? What, 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 what? Somebody's stuck somewhere? Apparently not. Apparently that crisis has been completely averted. Okay, I've got one research point. I could buy storage management. I, you know what? Really, on the whole, I don't think that my storage management is, is costing me anything at the moment. It may well be slightly non-optimal, but I think I can just about live with it. Okay, table production, that's looking good too. We know when we want to sell tables. In fact, we want to hold on to tables until we until we hit that peak point. Uh, we're probably going to be looking at about, I don't know, what's that, 40? 40 or 50? Maybe 50? 50, 50 tables at a maximum. We're currently set to manufacture 15. That's cool. Very happy about that. Let's get that there. Grand... And we're almost to 40 ducks as well. All right, so the market is going to refresh in, what is it, 23 hours? 23 hours, and then we're going to sell off all of our ducks for as much money as we can possibly as we can possibly get for them. I set out originally to make 40 ducks. I don't know if that's going to be the demand. What is the demand at the moment? It's 36. It's going to go down further. Can I, can I like, send away three ducks right now hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on slow down slow down slow down can i yeah so can i send away like five ducks so i send away five ducks right now will the market refresh in five hours and will the demand refresh that's what i really want to that's what i really want to query I've got 37 i mean i'm gonna need to sell some more hold on how many... Okay, so 10 ducks in there, 27. Yeah, so I have 37 ducks. Uh, I need to ditch a few more ducks before then. Let's try and ditch... I don't know. Ditch, like, another 5? No, ditch another 7, sure. Okay, so take that down. I think that the demand might refresh in the next market cycle. But I guess we'll just see. Okay. Is everything happening on this table? Yes, it is. The bandsaw is... The bandsaw is picking up a lot of the slack, to be honest. The bandsaw is picking up a heck of a lot of the slack. Uh, let's move... That over there, sure. Great. And then let's prioritize that over wooden boards. Grand. Is this not working? Apparently not. What have I, what have I done goofed here? Uh, it should work, shouldn't it? Wood planks. Yeah, we should just... We should just... It should just work. Hold on. Let me try that again. Okay. Hold on. Split this in half. Yeah, and then just put this at the top here. Alright, that'll work. That'll definitely work. It should probably work a little bit better than sticking it on the... Sticking it on the other, sticking it on the other billboard, sticking it on the machine. All right, let's have a look. Did the market demand refresh? It did indeed. That is fantastic. That means that we are going to make an absolute killing. We're playing the market. This is great. This is also fantastic because it means that uh, that we can improve our relationship with Swikea. Let's plan. Let's get this sorted. Uh, I want to buy a circle saw. I want to buy a circle saw before I get this small shelf stuff done. I'm sick and tired of uh, of only getting 25% efficiency for uh for straight or sorry 50 percent efficiency for straight cuts on the jigsaw but only 25 percent on the assembly bench so let's get a circle saw sorted first there we go fantastic great let's get machinery let's get a circle saw grand uh ah uh, goodness gracious i hate the fact that i don't have the appropriate space needed to make this happen but that's okay let's create a plan let's get straight cuts done on the there we go the circle saw 
Let's make that, sure. Oh, goodness gracious me, not that. Oh, I don't really want to do any wood bending myself. I think we're going to have to make metal shelving units as opposed to what I wanted to make. Yeah, let's make let's make metal metal shelving units, sure. Just cheap metal though. Cheap metal is totally fine. Uh yep, we'll do all of the metal stuff in the forge. Oh, we're going to need a brand new workstation in order to make this happen. A metal working station. We don't actually have a metal working station. Is that a Wow, I didn't even I didn't even I didn't even realize that we didn't have a metal working station. All right, well, that's not a problem. We can we can wait. Is this a cutting operation? This is a cutting operation. Let me move that right over there. Let me move this right over there. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Look at the speed. Look at the speed of that circular saw. That is immense. That is absolutely fantastic. All right, that's great. I'll take that. That's not too uh, that's not too shabby if I do say so myself. So I think what we really want to try and do is just get more and more specialized equipment about as quickly as we possibly can. Yeah, I mean, it seems to just be so much better than the regular stuff. Uh, it doesn't look like this Swikea contract is going to work at the moment. Because I'm going to need to get that metalworking station in order to bend the... Whatever it is, the, the pipes? I don't know. Is it the, is it the pipe? The, the bookends? I don't know. Yeah, the... The bits and bobs here. Yeah, that's that's not going to be possible. I mean, unless... Unless I make wood and I change this to metal. I can't I can't even change that to metal. Okay, if I was to put that in there... Yeah, no, it's still not strong enough, unfortunately. Premium materials. I mean, I could maybe research premium materials, but that's unlikely. I think I can do bending. Yeah, I can do bending on a regular woodworking bench, but... Yeah, that's unfortunate. We're gonna not be able to... We're gonna not be able to do that at this time. Which kind of sucks. But is not the end of the world. It gives us a good excuse to get a metalworking uh, bench pretty much as soon as we possibly can. Also, let's look at the market. See what else is on the market. Also, there's a bunch of super complicated stuff in the, in the medium zone. Which I haven't even looked at yet. Oh my goodness. Would you look at this? This actually seems imminently doable. Yeah, this in, this in fact looks totally, totally doable. I'd need to get a... What is it called? A foam injection machine. And for that, I would need a heck of a lot of money. But. But. I could do it. And I think I probably could do it relatively easily. Is that, what, about, what about tall drawers? I mean, they look unbelievably complex to manufacture. A catapult, an inferior trebuchet, not really sure if I want to manufacture that. Standard project size, I, I'm not sure if the, my, my machinery will be able to deal with, oh my goodness, look at this, look at this. Use batching to finalize a product before starting, before starting on a new one, that's exactly what I want to do, I want to do batching. Um, I mean, this all looks possible. It looks totally possible. It just looks... It just looks a bit ridiculous. This looks... This looks crazy. <laughs> Alright, I mean, should I try it? I mean, the payoff is immense. The payoff is absolutely immense. I mean, do I need to go through all of this and get it all get it all done i mean all of the straight cuts i want to be done on the i'm sure there's a i'm sure there's a much quicker way of making this happen but i suppose it's kind of good just to plan out exactly what i want to have happen first okay gluing yeah gluing can be done there that can be done there that can be done there i feel like this is this is this is going to be this is going to be chaos okay that can be done on the thingamabobber. That's right. I called it a thingamabobber. I forgot its name. The bandsaw. Okay. That can be done there. That can be done there. 
I mean, this is all totally possible. It's all totally possible, but... I'm gonna do batch production. I don't have the resources. To, I don't have the resources to... I don't have the resources to make it right now. Alright, well, we're definitely gonna return to that, because I very much want to do that. Uh, what's the price of tables? Is the price of tables gonna go up? I mean, the price of tables is gonna go up, but not by much. So let's try and shift some of these tables at the moment. Let's get rid of two. There we go. Get rid of two tables. And that'll give us enough money to get started on the construction of a catapult. Let's go into medium. There we go. We're all we're all set. Five catapults? I mean, this seems ridiculous. This seems totally, totally, totally ridiculous. Five flip-in catapults. All right. I'm ambitious, if nothing else. Stupid, some say. All right. Now we're just waiting for the next market cycle. I kind of like... In fact, I say I kind of like... I kind of love the fact that now I can read, uh, read the market. I can see into the future and I know exactly what's going to happen. It's delightful. Is there any way that I can speed up my my gnome's movements through storage piles? Hold on. No. No storage space available for wood plant. Create general storage or resize an existing one. Um, I mean, can I make storage space outside? Is that a possibility? I don't think so. No. That's annoying. There we go. All right. Let's wait until the next market cycle, and then let's get rid of all of these tables. Okay, this is this is actually fine. I think this is I think this is grand. Somebody just slipped there. It was in three times speed, so I didn't really catch it. But there was definitely some slippage there. You know, there might be liability for the factory owner, but that's okay. I'm not going to pay out. I'm not going to fold. I'm not going to pay out to uh, any of my workers. Any workplace incidents. Uh, absolutely nothing to do with me. And I cannot accept any responsibility for any uh, of the mess. Any of the mess that these guys get themselves into. All right. Don't obstruct the woodworking area, please. Or the metalworking area, should I say. This is the metalworking shop, obviously. I say obviously. What the heck is this? Your workers seem to be affected by some sort of parasitic creature. Best to get rid of them. I do find things strange in the neighborhood. What the heck? Some of your workers seem to attract a very rare kind of brain slug. Terribly uncomfortable for the affected workers and they'll lose their will and energy to work rapidly. Did they ever have any will and or energy to work rapidly? Slugs are cautious and careful creatures, but they frequently need to pop out of their host's head for air. When they do, they'll also splurt out a small and slippery piece of slime on the floor. Look for these piles of slime to track down the affected workers. Once you find a slug, you can extract it by using the button found in the tracker on the left side. All right. I'm pretty sure you... I'm pretty sure you're... You're my dude. Also, what's the point of having Venus flytraps if they can't uh, trap brain slugs? <gasps> it's you! It's you, that's right. Okay, I did have to... I don't know if it was an invasive test, but I did have to test you. Or, I don't know, I brain slugged you? I, I don't even know what that means. I don't even want to think about it. What do I want to get? Is there something that I want to get? Direct marketing, reach out directly and establish better relations with all your clients? Nah. Anti-slip, nah. I just, I want to promote someone. Let me promote someone. Also, let's talk about level two. What do we need in order to get the silver milestones? Deliver 50 medium products. Earn more than 75,000 of market deliveries. Get a reputation of at least rank three with one client. Have a network uh, of at least 150,000 gnome coins. All right, all of that is totally, totally possible. All right, let me have a look at the table market just briefly. Yeah, table market still set to increase in both demand and uh, demand and price. So I think that we can sort of just head on over to the to the next market cycle, really. What's this? No storage space available for the catapult frame. Um, yeah, I the. Bad news, the bad news is that it's unbelievably challenging. Unbelievably challenging to find the space in order to make this stuff happen. 
in order to store these in order to store these big bits of catapult. There we go. All right. Look at the size of that thing. It's huge. All right, but this is really, really good. I'm very, very happy with what we're doing right now. Making catapults is uh, is a step in the right direction, I think, for achieving silver silver level stuff. And we're gonna free up a bunch of a bunch of floor space as soon as the next market cycle hits. And let's have a little look. No storage space available again. Right, do that there. I mean, I don't like the fact that I'm expanding my storage space so much. Because everyone walks a little bit slower, which is uh, which is irritating, honestly. But whatever. Uh, okay, so let's have a little look. So at the moment, for all of our thirteen tables, is that it? Is that it? We've only got thirteen tables. I thought we had fifteen. Oh, I, I ditched two. I remember. Okay, anyway, for our thirteen tables, we would get seven thousand six hundred, seven thousand six hundred bucks. What are we gonna get after the price increase? 7,600, 7,800. Don't mind if I do. That's not too bad. Let's get them all sold. What have we got next? Some Dala horses. I mean, we absolutely crushed this. We absolutely crushed this. You need to create all these products from scratch in the given time. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Totally happy to do that. Let's prioritize the Dala horses. I mean, we absolutely, absolutely, very, very easily managed to get all of the Dala horses up and running uh, before the before the appropriate time last time. All right, I'm gonna switch things over a little bit. That can still be done on the billboard. Fine, paint workshop, uh, not the paint workshop, you know what I'm, you know what I mean. The paint station, the paint workstation. All right, let's get, uh, let's get as much money as we possibly can and then think about buying this metalworking station. Not really sure if we want to buy the metalworking station right now. You know what, after holding onto it for that long, I think we're gonna cancel. Yeah, why not? Okay. Price of shovels is going to increase, but only barely. And the nefarious dude is manipulating everything. Which is not cool. Not cool at all. Price of catapults is... Going to increase, but also decrease. Yeah, not thrilled about that, to be honest. Not thrilled about that whatsoever. If we could finish up catapult construction this market cycle, then that would be great. Yeah, that would be really, really good. Why are we not making Dala horses with uh, much more priority than... Yeah, why are we not... Uh, why are we not worrying about this right now? Uh, excuse me? Yeah, make the Dala horses, please. Hold on. Yeah, this is this is a bit of a problem. If uh, if if I say prioritize something, I mean prioritize it everywhere. Okay, that's the last bit of wood rod that we need, and then let's make a bunch of wooden planks, and then let's make these Dala horses. Right. We shouldn't have any issue making this quickly. But I do worry, on account of the fact that it did take us a while to get to this stage, and it looks like we're already behind schedule. But that's okay. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure some of the. Oh my goodness! Prioritize a repair over here, please. Goodness gracious me, that is abysmal. Okay, Dalla horse situation. Whew! I was almost a crisis right there. What's our ranking right now? Nineteen. Oh boy, that's great. That's real good. Pretty darn happy about that. Let's get that last Dalla horse finished. Let's prioritize a little bit of painting, a little bit of repairing even. Prioritize a little bit of repairing over here. We never want to get to a bad place with regards to repairs. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Your factory is so small and cute, I feel like I could just pick it up, pet it, and name it Fluffy. Let me know if you ever plan to grow out of that crib and actually start competing. All right, I don't. I, I mean, is that a compliment? It kind of feels like a bit of a compliment, to be honest. Maybe it shouldn't, but it certainly does. All right, we're at six thousand cash. How did that happen? Wow. 
I mean, I suppose selling off all of those tables after we'd correctly predicted, just like magic, what was going to happen in the market. Uh, okay, let's think about manufacturing something other than catapults. Why can I not manufacture this? I need to unlock metal production. Oh yes, I was going to think about getting the, the, the trample car. That was something to think about. Uh, I want to get these catapults away first, so... Let's hopefully try and complete all of this stuff before the end of... Before the end of this market cycle. What's the... What's the stuff that's required? Could we get a glue station? I mean, a glue station seems almost essential, really, at this point. Wooden board, round rods. I want to get some brand new equipment. That's what I would like to get. A lathe. You know what? You know what? Maybe I get myself a lathe. A lathe does seem like a pretty important bit of tech. So let's get a lathe. Let's get a stick saw as well. Sure. Credits are too low in order to make that happen. All right. That's unbelievably disappointing. Maybe let's just go with one of these things. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is called. Well, let's get one. Sure. And let's switch all of the appropriate... The appropriate bits over to where they need to be. Oh, fantastic! Crazy Steve! Crazy Steve, you're now my friend. Or at least I, I say that. You're now... You're an associate now. Fantastic. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm pretty certain that the wooden rod is made on a lathe. So I'm pretty sure the lathe is just a super fast spinning disc and you can load things onto it. So anything circular, I think, is made on a lathe. Nope. Anything rod-like is made on a lathe. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah. So at least we're going to speed up dramatically the speed at which stuff is made. At least rods are made on a lathe. All right. That's cool. You know what I kind of wish? I kind of wish that my my gnomes could move a bunch of uh, a bunch of stuff over to the lathe at the same time, rather than rather than going back and forth for individual bits of resources. But that's all right. That's fine. All right, catapults. We need four wheels. How are we doing with wheels? I mean, we are making wheels as quickly as we possibly can. And we need a catapult lever, or lever, as some people say. Swap that across. Bring that up to priority number two. Yeah, I don't think that we're really going to manage to time the end of this market cycle perfectly. But, you know, it's still fine. I mean, what is the, what is the sort of price spread? It's going to go down a little bit. We're still probably going to want to stick with this middle option. Yeah. You know, so it's not exactly a bad situation. It's just slightly suboptimal. But I suppose that's the sort of curse that you have when, you, when you're able to time the market. Right. I tell you what, though, that lathe is an absolute... It's an absolute machine. It is an absolute machine. We do need to see if we can try and get some sort of R&D, which allows people to... <laughs> allows people to take multiple resources over to the machine at a time. Uh, Anti-slip boots. I mean, we've got three tech. I mean, why don't we get wood... Let's get woodwork specialists. We also have plastic specialists as well. Uh, let me see. Oliver, congratulations. You're a woodworking specialist. Uh, let's also make... Jessica. Jessica, you can be a woodworking specialist as well. Fantastic. Let's get that repaired. Yep. Very, very cool. The market has just refreshed. What does that mean for catapult prices? Not very, not very much. I shouldn't be complaining. Catapult prices are actually totally fine. Small drawers for the Swikea dude. I think, I actually think that this is going to be totally, totally, totally easy for us to do now. 
Yeah, okay, let me let me sort of plan this out. Straight cut. Yep, now of course we've got the circular saw to make the straight cuts. Makes it a heck of a lot easier. That can be done on there. Grand, that can be done on... Nope, not there. Right over there, perfect. Circular saw, by the way, is in a heck of a lot of demand. A gluing station. Can I get a gluing station? I mean, for now, we'll just leave it as is. We'll just leave it equipped to the billboard, leave that equipped to the assembly station. Sure. Lacking the funds to make this happen. I mean, I would dearly love to have the funds needed in order to make construction happen. What do we need? We need a, we need a catapult lever. Oh, we're so close to being able to make it. I'd, I'd really like to be able to make the Swikea thing. Yeah, that would be really, really good. Okay, so let's make that catapult lever. Great. Let's get the catapult assembled, and let's get the individual catapult just shipped off. Fantastic. Yeah, get it shipped off. Get it delivered. Grand, get it out of here. Nice. Okay, and then let's immediately try and see if we can get the Swikea, uh, the Swikea thing started. Small drawers. I mean... The drawers are always going to be a bit of a problem, but that's okay. Let's get everything unloaded. I kind of want to continue to prioritize catapults. Is that so bad? Not really, I don't think. I think getting the catapults done first is still a priority. Yeah, I mean, we're almost done. We're almost done with them anyway. Okay. All right, that's all of our catapult stuff manufactured. Let's try and get everything else done. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. A pack of smelly but cute rodents have invaded your factory. Oh my goodness, how am I supposed to catch them? What the heck is that? Is that a turret? Oh my... Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to destroy them myself with my own bare hands. With my own with my own aim. Oh my goodness, this game is incredible. Look at that. That's it. Easy. 360 no scope. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, now our focus has to be on getting this Swikea contract done. Uh, here's hoping that it'll be possible to do. I think it will be. The fact that we now have a circular saw is great. In fact, what my next priority probably is, now that I am very, very wealthy indeed, uh, probably to try and get another circular saw. If I was to get another circular saw, uh, I could get a billboard attached and I could... and I could just make it all happen. I tell you what, my my next stage, my ne the next stage of, of refining this factory further is to get storage management, and that's indeed what I'm going to do, and then workstation input zone, export zone, okay, I mean, that's not, that's not super, that's not super great uh, division. I was kind of hoping that maybe I could have, like, raw inputs and then sort of intermediate product, but that's okay. Workstation input zone. Yes, cool. And I would like to resize this. Take it down a notch. And make this an export zone. Grand. Alright. I mean, things are going to have to be remodeled and whatnot, but that's a-okay. Uh-oh. Use button to link workstations. Oh, I link individual workstations? Cool. Nice. All right. Uh, let's have lathe, that, and that, and that, and that, and that, right? So just link it to absolutely everything. Okay, this is, this is very, very cool indeed. So what I want to do, what I want to do is I want to actually resize this again. I want to resize this again, take that down a notch. And then what I want to do is I want to have a specific storage zone right over here. 
reasonably small, right? And this is going to be a workstation input zone, and it's going to be linked to there and there, right? So all of... Oh yes, we can actually get some shelves. I haven't I haven't utilized shelves yet at all. That's probably suboptimal, to say the least. However, it's fine, I'm sure. What I'm pretty happy about is that, I mean, this just looks great. Okay, let me see if I can get some shelves right in, right in here. I mean, no, I can't do that. Can't do that there. I mean, I think it's because, yeah, there's already resources underneath, underneath there. However, if I equip a storage zone, stick in a shelf right here, then we can have a shelf that stores resources literally just for the circular saw and for the lathe. And it should mean that people don't have to go as far to get to the resources that they need to get to. I mean, already this is, this is feeling a heck of a lot better. On the whole, I'm very, very happy with how this is looking. Yeah, this is looking, this is looking real good. I mean, are chairs back on the menu yet? Can I get, uh, can I get some chairs? Turns out chairs were just a fad. We don't use chairs anymore. Oh my goodness, where am I? I'm up to 16. My workshop net worth is 73,000. My goodness gracious me, that is obscene. That is absolutely obscene. And, uh, it looks like we're on course to achieve, achieve this mission. What's going on? Somebody was trapped somewhere. Ah, whatever. I mean, I feel like this is far from the most efficient possible workshop. But it's not bad. It's not bad. It feels it feels good. What's going on here? Uh, the market updated. Anything that I'm interested in making. That's a table a table order brand new. That's expiring. That's fine. I mean, the fact that we made catapults at a time where they were so in unbelievably pricey. I mean, catapults, dude. Catapults. I think we can... I mean, there's so much that we can do to optimize. And I'm just sort of starting to... I'm just sort of starting to feel it, you know? I'm just sort of starting to feel exactly where I want to be. Small shelf. Uh, cancel the small shelf. Instead, get a large shelf. Sure. Get a large shelf. See if it works in the way that I think it does within the confines of the zone, rearrange the zone. I'm going to rearrange the zone. I'm going to rearrange this here zone. Right, so this is going to be the lathe and circular saw zone. This is cool. This is really, really, really cool. I like this a lot. This game is absolutely incredible. Let me say it, let me say it loud and proud. This is cool. This is very, very cool. Yeah, okay, so I see what's happening. So the resources are being moved from this zone. They're taken into the circular saw or to the lathe, and then they're moved to that zone to be distributed to everything else. Is that a problem? I mean, no, but it does mean that people end up walking over... walking over the storage zone, which is very suboptimal. Let me see if I can change that a little bit. Okay, modify that. Modify this zone ever so slightly. Right. Don't really know if that'll make much of a difference. But it should just mean that the people that are working on the lathes and the circular saws should, uh, should have less far to go. Although your guess is as good as mine as to whether that will actually work. Uh, hopefully I'm not going to end up messing up the Swikea order. I think it should be fine. Let's make sure that everything is repaired appropriately. On the billboard. I'm sure everyone is just so busy that they've refused to thus far assemble the large shelf. Maybe I've done something to upset people. I don't know. They're, they're probably all just so hard at work that they forgot to... To do anything else. In fact, they're all so hard, hard at work that we should probably think about hiring somebody brand new. Yes, that seems that seems like a plan. We should hire we should hire somebody new. What is my max? Uh, I'm close actually. Should we get a hauler? I mean, let's get three more people. Let's get three more people. Let's get two haulers. I don't actually have any haulers at the moment. 
So, I mean, that would certainly seem like an efficient use of, uh, of money. And the haulers can at least try and do a bunch of stuff. Try and keep, keep the goods flowing. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this zone further still. Going to restrict it even more. Can the stuff not be put on the shelves? Shelf is not properly within the zone. Oh, does it need to be one... Uh, one zone larger? Oh, no. Okay, move the shelf over there. Sure. Right. Make the zone just a little bit larger. Cool. And then let's try moving this thing right back in. Okay, apparently that is completely impossible. Okay, hold on. Let me let me try something different then. Let me let me try moving this over here. Yeah, move that over there. The haulers can move that stuff. Grand. Let's move the shelf. Move the shelf around to here. Great. Does the entire shelf need to be within the zone? I think it might be. I think that might be what my problem was last time. The entire sort of floor area of the shelf is actually larger than the actual area of the shelf. So if I do that, we shouldn't have any issues. It should all work just fine. Okay. Can someone assemble the shelf, please? Can the haulers do the shelves? They can indeed. Okay. That looks to work just fine. That's great. That's so great. Okay, we're we're actually making some real strides here. We're making some real strides. And in fact, maybe I should think about getting some brand new shelves now that I actually know how they work properly. Yeah, okay. Let's uh let's try and put two shelves up against the wall. There we go. Let's get them both ordered. I'm so unbelievably rich at the moment anyway that I don't really need to worry about things as they stand. Financial things, anyway. Okay, the shelves are going to be moved as soon as this storage area is empty. And then I'm going to work on making sure that all of the... All of the storage stuff is in... In a perfect place. That's the plan, at least. Alright, well, I think... I think things are looking up. I mean, we have got a massively complex factory in place. Uh, we've done a whole bunch of R&D. Our factory level is increasing by the day. We're up to 13th. We're up to 13th. Look at our revenue. It's a... This is... This is absolutely crazy. This is fantastic. We've hired a bunch more staff. It's feeling good. Everything is feeling pretty darn good at this moment in time. So, ladies and gents, I'm going to finish this episode up right here. Thank you, as ever, to my Patreons who make videos like this possible. This has been Little Big Workshop. My name has been Over the Potato. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.